Hello everyone, Clinton here. Welcome to the channel. So in today's video, I'll show you how to find your wallet address on the Binance exchange for you to receive crypto from someone. All you need is just to find your wallet address sent to the person. And sometimes the wallet address will require you to also uh, send both the wallet address and the, the memo. That's also the tag. I'm going to show you an example in this video. I'm going to actually show you guys how to do this on your mobile phone and also the website. So starting with the website, all you need to do is to log in your account. And from here, the top right corner, go over where it says wallet, click on Fiat and Spot. Okay, after you click on that, it's going to bring you up to this page here. And what you need to do is just to search for the crypto that you want to use. For instance, you're going to use BTC. When you search BTC, that's a Bitcoin, scroll down and you can see Bitcoin. And you should make, make sure that you take note of these Bitcoin down, Bitcoin up. And these are different wallet address. But if you want to receive BTC, exactly Bitcoin, you should be using this one here. And all you need to do is just to click on deposit. Okay. When you click on, click on deposit, it's going to take you here. And from here, all you need to do is to select, okay, this is the coin. And you can select the network that you want to receive the BTC. You can leave it on the BTC network. You can also go uh, through the BNB Smart Chain Network or the BNB Beacon Chain or the ERC20. But for you to receive it at the, um, with the low transaction, you should actually be using the Binance Smart Chain. That's the BEP20. Okay, let's, for instance, choose the BEP20. And as you can see right now, the wallet address comes up for you. All you need to do right now is just to copy the wallet address and send it to the person and you will receive your BTC on your wallet address. Okay, I'm going to show you guys another example where you will be um, you will be needing to increase the memo. Okay, from here, I'm just going to search on XRP. Okay, XRP is already here. It's trending. Okay, so I'm going to choose the network. And let's, for instance, say we want to use the BSC network. You can see that you won't be needing the memo. It's just the address you copy and send to the person. Okay, here's another example of a different different network. For instance, the, the XRP network. And if you want to use this, you can actually, uh, okay, there is no repo deposit address. No repo deposit address has been previously created. Please first create a deposit address. Okay, get address. And as you can see, both address and memo are required. Click on OK, show me the address. And you can see right now, if you want to receive your XRP on the Ripple network, you should actually send this address to the sender. Both the address and the memo. If you don't include the memo, sorry for you, your crypto is gone and it's gone forever. You can't retrieve it. So don't make that mistake. Okay, so this is going to be everything um, doing this on, on the website. So let's go over to doing this on the mobile application. Okay, so for doing this on the mobile application, right now you can see I'm on the mobile application. You have to make sure you, you put your account to pro. How do you do this? At the top left corner, you'll see this um, profile um, icon there. Just click on it. And as you can see from here, you can see this is the Binance Pro. Make sure you switch it on. And I'm run, I'm currently running the Binance Pro now. So if you switch it off, it's going to take you to the Binance Lite. But you cannot do this on the Binance Lite. You have to go to the Pro. Okay, so go to the Pro and turn this on. Okay, right now we're in the Binance Pro. And all you need to do is just go over here that says Wallet. Click on Wallet. And from here, click on Deposit. And search for the crypto you want to use. Let's say you want to use a BNB, click on the BNB you want and select the network you want to use, the BEP20, because that has a lower fee and click OK. And from here, you can see now that you can actually just copy the address and send this to someone. And you can see that it has a minimum deposit All the all the transaction has a minimum deposit. And once you're done with this, you can just click on share address. You can click on save as an image. So that someone can just scan it and it just comes straight to your account. All right, guys, this is basically everything you need to know. See you guys on the next one. Peace out.